good YouTube because of curly hair. So, we got the next one off of the Just Trey of Painter's Canvas album. This is Country Symphony. We got a music video for this one. I always love getting into a music video from Just Trey. He's very creative. He does very good at music videos. Always a great, great visualization for the songs. And I love his lyrics. I love his storytelling. Congratulations on the Upchurch collaboration. That was really awesome. I covered that already. We're going to be diving into the Turbulence album as well. I'm going to be doing all the songs off of that. So we got plenty of Creek Squad content coming. I can promise you guys that. Videos are a little bit more spaced out right now because I'm just really busy with a lot of endeavors that I've embarked on. So I've been focusing on that a lot and just settling into a new routine and everything. So videos are a little bit spacey compared to usual but that's okay we're still gonna get on here and make content for you guys as i have time to i have a few days that i have a more open window for this week so we'll be making videos for the next couple days i appreciate you guys tuning in thank you for all the support that you've shown subscribe if you're new here i appreciate you tuning in i'm not gonna waste any more time I say in every video, please go get help for mental health and addiction. If you need it, better your life, settle into better things for yourself, chase after your dreams, inspire other people to do the same thing and to get sober and the same things that you did. Stop drinking excessively, stop doing hard drugs, whatever your problem is. If you have mental health issues, go get help for that. Anything you're going through, man, you can get through it and you can pull yourself out and get to the other side of it. So... Please, go get that help if you need it. We're going to get into the next one off of a painter's canvas. This is called Country Symphony on Vacasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Let's get it. We got some Just Trey for you. <coughs> mm, nice. I like that beat sample. Riding on my enemies, that's country symphony You a bitch made, I'm in old school like Sesame Riding through the game, long haul, who you kidding me? Riding with my dogs, with your fingers to the industry Riding I love the vocal distortion on it It adds like a, a nice characteristic to it When you deepen the voice like that And the, just the black and white cinematics With the car driving through a, a field in the back, right? Driving on that back road with the field back there. I like it. The aesthetic is nice. My enemies, that's country symphony. You a bitch made out in old school like Sesame. Riding through the game, long haul. Who you kidding me? Riding with my dogs, middle fingers to the industry. Just that country boy that couldn't leave the mic alone. Walk into the stores and get my shirts with color dollar stores. Yellow sign. Country boy that couldn't leave a mic alone walk into the stores to get his shirts, he said. We're back on to the storytelling now. I like it. He told you what his favorite thing was, but then said that he has to put it back because he didn't have that dollar to spare. The stores to get my shirts, we call it dollar stores. Yellow sign clearance was my favorite friend to purchase stores. I had to put it back because I couldn't spend a dollar more. Never hit the bridge, but give you ridges on your stomach like ABS. That's the punchline if you want it. When I'm talking about a ridge, I'm talking waves to hop up on it because I go full throttle, moving fluently without you on it. Never had a hand. Mmm, okay. Now he's calling, he's calling back to full throttle in this song. I like that. I like it. He's already putting callbacks to songs on this album in it, right? Referencing the full throttle title, which is a great fucking song. I was just listening to that one earlier. Line if you want it. When I'm talking about the ridge, I'm talking waves to hop up on it. Cause I go full throttle, moving fluently without you on it. Never had a hand out. Now I got two hands out. I got full control on my wheel. He said, never had a hand out. No, I got two hands out. I got full control on my wheel. He says, wow. I love it. I love the metaphors that he uses. I love that he just really 
stays true to the process that he has for himself. The topics that he likes to talk about shine and all of his songs, similar themes, all relatable in the same vein as each other to the same type of people that vibe with this kind of music. He really sticks to that and he's zeroed in on it. He's really really zoned in on that a whole lot. As we can see, it paid off for him. He got the Upchurch feature. He's doing great for himself. He's growing consistently. And every single album and song that he puts out, you can just see so much more growth inside of his bar style, the way that he writes them, the way that he spits them, unorthodox pockets that he hits a lot of the time, especially and that song that he did with Church, he hit a lot of really unbalanced and unorthodox flow pockets in there. But the wordplay was so on point. The rhyme schemes were brilliant. This is just a continuation of that, right? This is just a continuation of everything that he's already built on. And we're seeing the culmination of it with what happened with the Turbulence album. I really love it. I love this a lot. Yes, that's the punchline if you want it When I'm talking about a ridge, I'm talking waves to hop up on it Cause I go full throttle, moving fluently without you on it Never had a hand out, now I got two hands out I got full control of my will when I take routes Even off course, I'm on course, like it's planned out My hand a couple up and with my wheels never spin out Wow, he said even off course, I'm on course, like it's planned out Saying sometimes I plan a veer Because I know that if, you know yeah, that's the zigzag effect. You zig and you zig and you zig and everybody thinks you're going to zig again and then you zag. And then you might zig again and then hit another zag and then do a couple more zigs after that. You guys get it. You guys know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what he's talking about right there. But the way he worded it is off course and on course. But it's like I planned it. Even when I'm off course, I'm on course. It's like I planned it. That's what he's talking about there is you're never going to know his next move. Just when you think he's going to zig, he'll hit you with a zag out of nowhere. I love it. I love the way that he worded that and made it relatable to like driving and the country style of spinning that he goes for. Wow. I like that one. That one that one's really cool. <laughs> Control of my will when I take routes. Even off course, I'm on course. Like it's planned out. My head a couple bumpy routes. My wheels never spin out. Hey, Treading on. Hey, Cause I got spares for my tires. Yeah. Always working tirelessly, but never hey. getting tired. I gotta Wow. He said he hit a couple bumpy roads, but the tires never spun off, right? I like that saying that he just never let that affect what he was going to do next, where things were going to go next. The bumps in the road were merely that, just a couple bumps that you got over and continued on the path, right? Couple bumpy roads, my wheels never spin out, yeah. treading on, cause I got spares for my tires, always working tirelessly, wow. but never getting tired, I got a full tank with I gas in it, I'm letting with air in it, easier gas. for me to climb a hill, cause I flow in it, never tread a new door. Easier for me to climb a hill, cause I flow with it, he said. Man, he just goes with it, yeah. He says, I flow with it, I flow with the upward trajectory, the upward climb, I'm willing to have to dig my feet in to not slide back down even if it were to rain and get muddy on me right that's what he's saying i like it i love it it's just about confidence it's about not giving up it's about work i think it's about continuation of what you're doing no matter what happens on any given day just really ascending past the need to even entertain all of that bullshit to just keep doing you no matter what happens no matter what bump you hit no matter if you're climbing up a hill that's constantly upwards and you could get hit with rain and it's going to make you want to slide you're going to have to dig your boots in and pull with everything you got with your hands even right slipping and sliding but you're not going off the hill you're just going to hang on and weather that storm when it dries back up again you continue right beautiful i really love it with there with it easier for me to climb a hill because i flow in it never train a new dog that won't grab a bone with it hard-headed wow. underdog that's why i dove right in it playing on my yeah. cards ace of hearts like there's one in it took a couple wow. years that's the odds if you don't get it riding on my enemies that's the country
he said it took a couple years. He says <laughs> you might not get it, right? Yeah. He's saying, so the people that are hating on him now, that have showed up, that are new, that are like, who the fuck is this guy? Why the fuck are you here? So on and so forth. What makes you think that you're allowed to be here? The, as if you have to be allowed in the first place. People are weird, right? <laughs> He's saying, you weren't here for those other couple years to realize why this happened, right? You weren't there for that. You didn't see the part where it was actually what you would basically call nothing. Not that it ever was nothing, because it always had value and substance, but nobody was really looking, is what he's talking about. Now, you're a couple years, few years down the road, and people that are new to it are seeing it and saying what I just said, right? And that's something that you gotta weather and deal with as well. His way of handling it is to write songs like this, and that's a perfect way to handle it as an artist is to address it in the music. Answer them in the songs. They're going to be here to listen to them anyway because they can't stop fucking paying attention to you even though they say they hate you. It's an obsession, an unhealthy one at that point. You should probably go focus on themselves, to be completely honest, but that's a discussion for another day. <laughs> Hearts like there's one in it Took a couple years That's the odds if you don't get it Riding on my enemies That's the country symphony You a bitch made I'm in old school like Sesame Riding through the game Long haul, who you kidding me? Riding with my dogs Who look fingers to the industry Riding on my enemies That's the country symphony You a bitch made I'm in old school like Sesame Riding through the game Long haul, who you kidding me? Riding with my dogs Who look fingers to the industry In that black smoke Pilling out the parking lots The back roads for granny stash so pack mo in that black smoke off the tires he's saying on the back roads he remembers rolling up granny's tobacco he said man he loves the tobacco bars <laughs> i love the tobacco bars the tobacco farming bars are classic i had a buddy Whenever I was younger he's no longer with us he unfortunately passed away when i was just 17 years old, about to be 18, around 18 years old, we lost a good friend of ours, quarry accident, it was an accident at a quarry, he drowned unfortunately, rest his soul, he was a really interesting, interesting person, but he, uh, his dad used to grow tobacco, and he used to walk out to the shed in the back, and we would open the doors and look at all the tobacco hanging there. And we would roll ourselves some cigarettes with it from time to time, right? And it was, it had its own unique flavor from what you would like buy at a store, like rolling tobacco, you would buy at a store, or like cigarettes, you would buy at a store. It had this really different kind of flavor to it that was almost like more fresh and refreshing than what you can buy at a store. Obviously, fresh grown and right in the backyard, right? And you're going to get a completely different flavor. Every time he says one of those bars, it makes me think of that, but I've never said it during one of the reactions. It makes me think of my buddy whose dad used to grow tobacco in his yard. And like I said, rest his soul. He passed away, unfortunately, when we were just kids. But he was a very interesting character. I can say that. <laughs> Very interesting. He was one of those people that enjoyed weirding people out. Like what people <laughs> would be like trying to make fun of him and shit. He would just do something completely off the wall. It was unpredictable that would like scare the fuck out of them. Like it would make them not want to talk to him again. They would be trying to bully him and then they would end up scared of him because he was just that wild he was a really really interesting interesting character it was unfortunate that we lost him man i really sucked because i can only imagine what he would be up to right now but yeah every time just trace has one of those tobacco bars it makes me think of that game on hold, 
Spin that black smoke, pillin' out the parking lots, the back roads, back home, reppin' tobacco for granny stash so pack mo. Never knew how much I picked tobacco with my cousin making twenty dollars, been repeating sack. You always live and you learn, but never grew up picking tobacco with his cousin just for twenty dollars. Hey, that's an honest day's work right there. Even as a a young kid going and picking the tobacco, making 20 bucks to go get yourself some freaking colas or milkshakes or whatever it is. Go to Sonic or whatever the fuck it is you want to spend it on. Go get yourself some milkshakes from Sonic and shit. Yeah, that was... See, those are the little things that you would appreciate in his position. Was the, the ability to pick tobacco and then... Go enjoy something nice like that with that $20 afterwards, right? Go to the store, get yourself some freaking candy bars or energy drinks or, like I said, go get milkshakes at a restaurant or whatever. It's, Sonic's the place to be. <laughs> if you want good, good milkshakes, a good blast. Besides Dairy Queen, I would say Sonic's the place to go for that kind of stuff. Really good quality. Work to earn. I'm a cold blooded killer, country born that's hated urn. Slow it down, take a turn. Watch it smoke up and burn. I'm lighting fire under asses when the masses reoccur. So you say wow. I'm overrated, never judge me till I made it. I just tell my whole. Hold on, I like the flow switch. I like it. Hold on, we gotta bring it back. I like what he just said there. And earn, slow it down, take a turn. Watch it smoke up and burn. I'm lighting fire under asses when the masses reoccur. So you say you He's really reliving like the glorious days of the younger years, even though they were like a bit of a struggle and not always the easiest times. He takes the, the like small memories of it, such as the picking tobacco and earning that $20, right? He takes those small things and makes them what he cherishes as the experience to land him with the work ethic and everything that he has now. I really, really love that a lot about the way that he approaches his lyrics and his storytelling. It adds a whole another layer of emotion to it whenever he throws those kind of bars inside of there. Really, really awesome writing. Always live and you learn, but never put in work to earn. I'm a cold blooded killer, country wow. born as hated urn. Slow it down, wow. take a turn, watch it smoke up and burn. I'm lighting fire under asses when the masses reoccur. So you say I'm overrated, never judge me till I made it. I just tell my own story, living in the woods, I'm facing never. He just said what I was saying earlier. He said, You, you never, he said, You didn't say that I was overrated. Until I made it, is what he just said. I fucking love that. He's saying, you weren't even here when you when I was doing all the work that got me here. Now you just want to call me overrated because I've arrived here. He's like, what he's saying, he's like, oh, but what you're not realizing is that I didn't just arrive here. I walked here. I climbed here. I ran here. Sometimes trees were trying to fall on me. I had to dodge all of those. And I'm still here. That's the story of it. And when you build that into the experiences of life as the metaphor, it's so beautiful. He really knows how to develop these concepts well. To where he can tie in his environment down to the trees, the grass, the fields, the tobacco fields, the $20 that he made that he really appreciated in those younger years, the grind and the climb to get to where he is, and to spin it into the concept of the metaphors that he does is so beautiful. I love his storytelling. Really amazing. This we occur, so you say
say I'm overrated, never judge me till I made it I just tell my own story, living in the woods I'm facing Never turn my back on it, cause my brush still painting Dog, I've been that motherfucker and I still never made it Dog, I've been that motherfucker and I still never made it mm. Is that his way of saying that he still considers himself to need to do more To need to achieve more, to need to prove more to himself and to the people that believe in him to show what he's capable of still he's saying to me you you see somebody that's overrated oh he fucking made it now like he he's achieving all of his dreams and his goals and you're and there's haters that are like oh he made it now fuck this guy he's overrated he's like from my perspective i still haven't Epic. Fucking epic. I really like that. It's it's true. You just gotta keep grinding. Because if you stop, it's just gonna go away. So you still could just gotta keep going every single day. And keeping people entertained and continuing to share your story in your own way. That is how you want it to be represented and how you would like it to be received. And some people are gonna hate on that people don't like that kind of authenticity they don't want to believe that it's real they want to believe that it's him putting on an act because they can't see it for themselves, so they don't want to be able to see it for him and that's where envy and jealousy comes into play when in reality if you were the type to just align with it, you'd be able to share in the joy and the blessings of the experience. But instead, you choose to be assholes towards people that are trying to achieve things. And you're the one that gets talked about in songs like this. Wrong side of the coin to be on. <laughs> Respectfully. In the woods I'm facing, never turn my back on it Cause my brush still painting Dog, I've been that motherfucker and I still never made it Riding on my enemies, that's good you see for me You a bitch made, I'm in old school like Sesame Riding through the game, man, oh, who you kidding me? Riding with my dog, all the fingers to the industry Riding on my enemies, that's a country Epic, fucking epic song right here. This was a good one from Just Trey. He always delivers, man. Every single video we do by him, I'm always impressed. It's a very unique and diverse style that he has. Very unique and diverse style that Just Trey has. And I enjoy his music a lot. This album has been fantastic. I don't think there's been two songs on it that had the same vibe as each other. It, he, he, he's a, he's really just a jack of all trades when it comes to the styles that he could do. He's really figured them all out. He's mastered them all. I love that in an artist. It's really interesting whenever the styles can just be bent and switched and you never get bored with it. You've always got a different vibe that you're coming on to whenever you're clicking on a track by them. You never know what to expect, whether it's going to be emotional, whether it's going to be aggressive, whether it's going to be heavy storytelling. You never know which direction you're going to get. And that's a great thing about artists like Just Trey. It really, really stands out with the diversity of the album and the songs on it. I appreciate that about it. I really love the storytelling inside of it. I love the way he approaches it. I love the way he touches on the smaller experiences that made him think the way that he does now. Always keeping it real, keeping it raw, keeping it honest, saying how he feels, addressing people that doubt him as always. This is what we have come to expect from a Just Trey track. And he always delivers. He never fails.
every single track has been absolutely fantastic off of this album so far. I really love it. The original video for this will be in the description as always. I'm going to pop us a like on this right here. I really, really like this song a lot. I like the bars in it. It got me telling stories about my younger years and like little memories that I have when it comes to tobacco and stuff like that. It's really, really awesome the way that he can create things that are that level of relatability for those of us that listen to it. So shout out, Just Trey. You're killing it. You're awesome, man. I really love your music. And it's been a, awesome to get on here and be able to break down your bars and talk about your songs and relate them to my own life because it's very relatable and i appreciate artists that do what you do so keep it up you're kicking ass definitely kicking ass on this album i, I look forward to the rest of it we're on the back half of it now we're hitting the back side of the album the b-side as you would call it it's a long album so we still got plenty of songs to go with this one like i said we're also going to be getting into the turbulence album by church so keep your eyes out for that i know you guys are going to enjoy those videos i always have a blast breaking down up church's bars he's got some incredible incredible writing so we always appreciate that when it comes to artists that we have on the channel. It's all about the lyricism on here for me. I appreciate the storytelling. I appreciate the lyricism. And I appreciate that we get to relate it to our own lives and get to know each other a little better. So thank you guys for tuning in. Please go get help if you need it. Like I always say, live a better life, man. Fix what's wrong with you. Enjoy your time here. Do things you love. Hang out with people that you love. Have a great life. I love you guys. We gonna get out of here. I'm Vikasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me, comment, suggestion, subscribe. Up that way, bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next ones. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace.